This time, I will explore C4D 20-5.3.1 fluid to make abstract particle effects. The core of the technology is two points. One is the direction of particle motion, and the other is random size. I will build a new project and take you step by step to complete this case effect. Create a cube that will be the emitter and collider. The proportion of the cube is set to 400 cm for the x-axis and 200 cm for the other axis. Last modified name to container. Switch the software layout to particle module. This is customized. Click on the fluid fill transmitter while selecting the cube. Create null, drag the cube in and name it. Cancel the view display and render display. Play the timeline to watch the simulation. Because there is gravity and then there is no collider, it will just fall. Set the pivot point position for the cube. Find the geometry axis capsule tool from the explorer. Select the cube, right mouse button to add the collider label. Change collision direction to inside. Play the timeline to watch the effect. The default parameter is too many particles. Too much of it leaves no room for particles to move. CTRL plus D project settings. Simulation panel switches to fluid. Set the default particle size to 6 and turn off gravity. After modification, the particles are significantly reduced. Then you need to add speed to the particle to move. I chose to use turbulent force fields to get these particles moving erratically. Play the timeline to see the initial effect. Next, you need to deal with the motion orientation problem. First, set the display type to arrow for the particle group. Add a look modifier to set the direction of particle motion. The default settings can achieve the effect of particle motion orientation. And we map the particles to velocity and speed. Set the color range according to actual needs. Let's play it again to see the general effect. Finally, you need to use the clone cube to watch the physical effect. Create a new cube and set the proportional size and give the clone child level. Set it to render instance and set the clone object to particle group. Seems like the cube is too big and then sets the inherited particle size to 100%. Continue to adjust the size proportional relationship of the cube. Particle group enabled to display particle size. As you can see, the cube clones are the size of the particles. Temporarily turn off the clone display and continue to set the particle size. The current particle size is uniform. I hope it is random. Add math modifier. Target property is radius. Source switch to fields and add random fields. Set operand parameters. You can see that the particles have random sizes but some of them flew away. Math modifier adds frozen fields to see if it can be improved. Still doesn't seem to solve the problem. I have an idea of what's causing it, particles that are too small to pass through the collider. It will be solved after the multiplier modification and then fine tune to the appropriate ratio later. Finally, add a friction force to increase the realism of the simulation. Finally, fine-tune the random size of the particles and you're basically done. Now the number of particles is not enough. The number of particles needs to be increased. Directly modify the default radius of the fluid parameters to reduce is to increase the particles. If you play the timeline, you'll notice that the simulation doesn't look right. 
The reason is that the frozen field of the math modifier needs to be deleted and re-added, and the update parameters change. Now the particles display the simulation correctly. It is not practical to watch the simulation in real time after the number increases. So you need to create a window render to see the final simulation effect. The general production idea is basically finished, and then I deepen the animation content. Later, it involves a large number of animation models, animation-driven production process explanation. If you are interested in the follow-up advanced content, you can join my Patreon website to watch. Thank you for watching. I will continue to share interesting and practical C4D content. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.